Lective 46 make our camera follow our player. For that here in our scripts folder, I've created camera scripts and here we have our camera follow script. Drag this camera on, or excuse me, drag this script on the main camera to attach it. So make sure it's here. And now we are going to double click it and open it here in mono develop. And in order to follow our player, we need a private transform, which is going to be the transform of our player. And I'm going to name it player. And in our start function, I'm going to say player is equal to game object, find game object with tag. And we need to tag our player with the player tag. And we need to say dot transform to get his transform property. And we can go here, select the player and make sure that we have tagged him with the player tag. Now in our update function, what we are going to do is we are going to create a vector tree, which is going to be a temporary variable and it's equal to transform that position. This is going to store the current position of the camera and we need to follow our player for that. We need to say temp dot X or the position X of the camera is equal to player position X so that we can follow the player on his X position. And lastly, we need to say transform position is equal back to temp again, because as I said, we are following the player. If I go back now and run the game, we are going to see our camera following our player as we go. So we see that this is working. Now, also what we are going to do is we are going to strict the camera. So we see here that we need to strict the camera where it can go. So it can go up to negative 46 on the X axis, which is if I take the camera, which is on the X negative 46, which is here and positive 46, which is back here. So how can we do that? Well, we need to create two more variables. So here I'm going to create a private float. So private float or excuse me, is going to be public float because we need to be able to alter it or change it in the inspector panel, which is going to be minimum X and maximum X. And here before I reassign the temp X or temporary variable back to the transform position, I'm going to check if R, so if temp dot X is less than minimum X. So if it's less than the minimum X, we are going to say temp, so temp dot X is equal to minimum X back again. So we are not going to allow our temporary X variable to go above or to go below the minimum X value. And here I'm going to say temp dot X, if it's greater than the maximum X, then we're going to say temp X is equal to maximum X, not allowing it to go above the max X size or variable. And if I go here, select the camera. So our minimum X is negative 46 and the maximum is positive 46. So if I run the game now, and if I try to go and notice here on the X axis for the position of the camera, so we are going up to negative 46. So we are at negative 40. When we reach negative 46, the camera is not following the player anymore even though the player can go outside of the bounds here, but we can put colliders here so we can go and we can put colliders here that are going to stop our player from going outside of the screen. And we see now because our player's X position is less than 46, we are able to follow the player. But if it's greater than 46, which we are going to see now, if I go back here and we are going to reach 46, then we are stopping to follow the player. Now, in order to follow the player on the Y axis, we can go back here. And what we can do is we can say temp dot Y is equal to player dot position dot Y. But if I go now here, this is what we have. So we don't want this, we need to add a little bit more value to our Y. And we see that the player is at negative three on the Y axis. So I can go back here and I can say, for example, plus, I don't know, 3.1 F. And if I go back and rerun the game, this is what we have here. And if I jump now, we see that 
our camera is also following the player on the y-axis but we have added a little bit of value because our player's position on the y is negative 3.3 so on and so forth and we can also add a little bit more val value excuse me if we don't think that this value is good for us so you can say 3.2 or 3.3 depends on you so you can see where you want the camera to be and now we have our player and the camera is following our player nicely so the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually create our ghosts and we need to program them or their movement and then we are going to program their spawners so we're going to stop here in the next video we are going to create animations for our ghosts so on and so forth moving forward creating the enemies if you like what you see please comment like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next video